What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to another motor vlog. Now there might be a few things you're noticing straight away. One is that that guy was staring at me like a Peter. Hey. Two. Is that you may notice that my bike is a lot louder. And the reason for that is because I have a... I've got an arrow exhaust installed and uh, I've uh, turned my tick over up a bit, so... That's why you can hear it louder. And obviously, right, I'm not joking, maybe 30 seconds before I sat on my bike, the sun was out. And now it's raining. It's happened to me twice today. So yeah, anyway, um, my bike broke down last week. And this, in this video, I'm going to try and explain to you what happened to it. Pretty sure I've actually got some footage of the uh, what happened afterwards. Not of it actually breaking down, because I don't think I was recording then. But straight away afterwards, uh, I started recording. So I'll put a little snippet in here, just to show you guys what it sounded like. Something's just broke on my bike. My bike's just fucked. Listen. Cause it's fucked. It just went clunk and my back wheel locked up. Did it? Yeah. So you can't move it then? I can. Well, I don't know. I haven't tried, but it won't rev very much. It's overheated. Do you know that you said on whip week? Maybe we should do it this week. Nah, it's fine. Tom, I think my bike weighs twice what yours weighs. Well, don't stop. We got far. Well, basically, what happened was I pulled away from my mate's house and uh, my balance gears, uh, my balance shaft gears snapped. And uh, these things basically eliminate a vibration and through a chain of gears turn things like my water pump and my oil pump. So, um, as you can imagine, with no oil pump or water pump working, my bike got very hot very fast. And it also vibrated like fuck. 
It didn't cut out when it happened, but uh, I turned it off straight away. So yeah, that was, um, I had to wait three hours for the RAC to fucking tow me. Granted, it was a bank holiday because it was Monday, the day after Easter that it happened, so. So then the Tuesday, which was the next day, I had the day off work because I couldn't get, to the, I couldn't get there because my bike was broke. And then the Wednesday, I, uh, that was the first day I started stripping my bike. So on the Wednesday, I basically, I initially thought that my top end had gone. I thought the bearing had gone. Because uh, it, it sounded like my piston was basically slapping against the cylinder. That was my initial thoughts. And also because I had this arrow exhaust coming in the post, I put the uh, I took the, my old exhaust off and put a mirror in the um, manifold and had a look. And noticed my piston was kind of all right. So I knew that wasn't the problem. And then I changed a few things. Uh, I changed my engine coolant and then realized my water pump wasn't working. And uh, and that's when I took the clutch cover off and found the valance shaft gears are all crushed up and snapped in half. And I'll insert a picture here just to show you what I'm on about. Brown nylon uh, sprocket is the oil pump drive and the other two yellow ones are the balance shaft gears. Now only one of the balance shaft gears actually broke and the oil pump drive broke. But I replaced both of the balance shaft gears just for safe measure anyway, because uh, PJ Me do a kit of them both, so I thought I may as well do that. So I ended up going to Wolverhampton the following day to PJ Me's and ordering a bunch of shit. It came to £96, and um, I didn't just fix that while I was doing it as well. I changed my water pump seals and O-ring. Yeah, so basically this bike has now had uh, a new exhaust spot on it. A, um, a 128 main jet to compensate for the exhaust which it's beautiful now apart from the revs are hanging a bit when I let go of the throttle when I pull the clutch in but um, I think that's because of my idle being high it might be because it's running slightly rich I don't know I need to uh, sort that out but um, that's that's minor problem it's also got new water pump seals and o-rings. Should have gone that way, but it doesn't matter. It's also had new uh, clutch oil, or gearbox oil, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I've used 75W90 for those of you who've got an RS and curious. Uh, you can use up to between 75W80 and 90, I think. I used 90 just because it was the most easiest I could get hold of and it, I put it in my bike before and it seemed to work so why change something if it isn't broken? Um, it's had a new spark plug um, it's had new engine coolant and I've uh, flushed it through the system and bled it and oh my god it works so much better the only downside is it takes me so much longer to warm my bike up now um, but yeah that works loads better that I've done that um, it's also had a new clutch plates, new clutch springs. It's got heavy duty EBC springs in it now. Um, it's had a new clutch gasket. Um, I cleaned the power valve. It's had a new power valve gasket, a new exhaust manifold, a new exhaust manifold gasket, a new end can gasket, a new exhaust springs. Um, One right behind me. And uh, that's pretty much what happened to my bike. So uh, it didn't really take too much time fixing the balance shaft gears. I was kind of dreading it, thinking, oh, this is going to be a nightmare of a job. No, it wasn't really. It was a pretty easy job. You just have to make sure that you get the timing marks all lined up correctly, which didn't take very long at all to do so uh, I've got one or two vlogs recorded already um, you've probably seen them already because it's actually Saturday now um, and all this shit happened on Tuesday Wednesday uh, and the bike was fixed uh, when was it fixed it was fixed Thursday morning oh shit I've got to turn my indicator off Uh, 
and, and then on Friday I uh, up jetted because um, because of the new exhaust but I think I might need to go like because I went three sizes up maybe I need to go one size up or something or just change my air fuel mixture screw because my revs are hanging a bit so yeah, anyway guys, just wanted to give you a quick update video on uh, what's going on, why there hasn't really been many videos in the last week or so. I did record a few, but because of my bike fucking up, I haven't really had much time at home to edit videos. Hopefully over this weekend I'll get those two videos up and you'll probably see this video somewhere mid in the week. Probably Wednesday, I'd imagine, you'll see this video. So yeah, anyway guys, I'll see you later. Pretty much all to do with like the sequence of checking your mirrors and indicating and stuff. I did it the wrong way around a few times. It's only a 30 road, what am I doing? The cop would have totally fucked me then. Wasn't even going fast, but this is.